With increasing regulations and effects of climate change, companies need to invest in diversifying their material portfolio to build resilient and future-proof supply chains. There is a need for more sustainable options, which can contribute to transitioning towards a circular economy, decreasing reliance on fossil resources, and reducing environmental impacts compared to conventional production. Innovative bio-based materials have the potential to fulfill these criteria, but investing in these solutions requires careful consideration of potential trade-offs in key performance factors, such as the type of biomass used, how it's produced, the durability, biodegradability, and recyclability of the material. To have an overview of these trade-offs and to be able to truly measure progress, a holistic environmental assessment is crucial. Many companies measure their carbon footprint, but if you focus your environmental action only on climate, you might miss trade-offs with biodiversity, for example. This is why we do a life cycle assessment, or LCA in short which adopts a full life cycle perspective and allows users to identify potential burden shifting or unintended consequences. It also uses a multi-indicator approach that can highlight other environmental indicators such as water use, land use and ecotoxicity, for example. Despite its strengths, LCA also has its limitations, such as the lack of measures on circularity and microfiber release. This is why in the Glaucos project, we use complementary indicators such as LCA, circularity and plastic leakage so that we can identify the trade-offs and make informed decisions for responsible material innovation.